Hello guys, I uh, have the playoffs right here, and we won the NLDS, and I didn't want to really show that because, you know, there's not really a point. We won 3-1 to one versus the Padres, but we have Strasburg on the mound for game one of the NLCS, and I don't know how we didn't get this guy out here, but uh, he's safe. That's the first run. Here's the second run of the game right here. Almost got uh, Phillips at second, but he's safe, barely. <laughs> and then the final run of the game right here, home run. Jake Peavy pitches a complete game. We're going to go to game two right after we watch a little sub celebration. Alright, so we're here in game two, and it's going to be a pretty good game. I actually batted in this game, and the first inning, I get a two-run shot with Ian Desmond to put us up 2 nothing. Right here, show him. Uh, celebrating in, here's the, uh, there's no celebration, but there's the home run. And then batting with him again in the like fourth inning, I think, third inning, I don't know. Another home run, this one a solo shot to put us up 3 to nothing. Um, I don't know, I, I just had it on with my offense today. Well, not really, I mean, I really got most of my offense from him. I kind of skipped a few innings, which we actually got some runs, so. Just to make it go faster so I didn't have to play the whole game, because that's kind of, I don't know, it just kind of sucks if you're going to play a seven-game series in one night, or at least try to. Um, here's a home run I'm going to give up to Vernon Wells here. Uh, that's the only, only run I'm going I'm to give up with Zach Greinke, I think. And actually, I gave up another run in the bottom of the ninth, or the top of the ninth. But here, my closure, I bring my closure in after I gave up the home run, and he's going to close it out for us. I mean, this guy's crazy, but we're going to go to game three at, right here after this. All right, so we're here with uh, game three of the NLCS, and right here I'm going to give up a uh, leadoff homer to Kobe Rasmus in the first inning. So now we're down one nothing. I didn't hit this game, by the way. I didn't really feel like it. Um, two run double right here. Uh, I could have dove for that ball and maybe saved a run, but I didn't think it was really worth it because I might have just ended up giving up a triple. Who got past me, and then two run shot by Rasmus again. Kind of had my number this game. As yeah, you see him around the bases. Uh, right here, J. Rawl going to get a s double. I, I don't know. I, I don't think I needed to die, die for that now that I look at it, but no matter what, he was going to get at least a single and score the run, so you know, it didn't really matter. I, I was just kind of hoping to stop him from the double. Um, and this is interesting. This is the bottom of the ninth. We're, we're up by one, and I have my closer in. And I just want to show you guys the pitch sequence right here to Johnny Gomes. Two fastballs inside that he swung at. I was going to go for a third one, but I think that he might connect to that, so... We go curveball outside and look at him chasing it. That's what happens when you get a guy to chase two fastballs. He'll, you know, be, be more, I guess, susceptible to a curveball. And in the game, we get Johnny, no, Nick Swisher to pop out. I don't know why they have Nick Swisher on the bench, but uh, we're gonna go to game four now and see how we're doing. We're up two to one in the series. All right, guys, here's game four, and I'm, I'm, I actually did some betting in this game. Uh, we already have one to nothing, and right here I drive in a run on a single with Ian Desmond, it looks like. I think it is. After this, B.J. Upton's going to get a sack fly to center field. I think he could have got this guy if he would have thrown it home, but, I mean, you know, when he got to the cutoff, I mean, he, the cutoff even could have got him. Um, Jay Bruce gets a home run here. The Reds only got two runs in this game. I got seven, <laughs> so we take a 3-1 advantage, just let, just let you know early. Um, right here, I don't know how, but I got a double play. I didn't even realize it until after, um, because the next play, I, I like, um, I was holding the guy at second, and w when there's a ground ball to third, and uh, I just threw it to first, and the inning was over. I was like, well, wow. and right there, they get they get their only other run of the game, and closing out, Tyler Clifford strikes out the side in the ninth inning to put the Reds away, and we get the victory seven to two, and we're gonna go to game five. All right, so we're at game five right now, and we're going to end up losing this game, and here's some of the highlights for the Reds. Um, only got one run, and that was on a sack fly in, like, the, I think it was, like, the fourth inning, but Brandon Phillips gets a home run right here. Um, I think this is Rasmus gets a solo shot. At, they had four home runs this game. All were, of course, solo home runs. We only scored one run right here. First, or I don't know, this is my first batter with that new pitcher. Um... He goes yard. And then right after that, I said, enough with this guy. Bring in my other guy who I like. Um, just because of that weird windup. Tough on righties. And, well, Brandon Phillips gets another homer. 
on a fastball high that you're not supposed to do with a uh, sidearm, but because the ball coming in high, just it looks better to hitters. See, coming in up high. And then here's the final out of the game. Uh, so we're going to blues this one, and we're going to go to game six at my stadium. All right, guys, so here's game five of the NLCS. And uh, second inning, I'm going to give up a solo shot here to I don't know who. But the Reds will go up uh, by one, and I didn't bat much this game until the last inning. And right here, they score another run after I committed an error on a double play that would have uh, got us out of the inning. But right here, uh, top of the ninth, we're up by one, and I give up a tying solo shot to Johnny Gomes, pin who was pinch hitting at the time. So that ties the game up at three. But here's a game-winning hit by Danny Espinosa with Sean Figgins on first. Uh, the Whoever the hell it is in left field, I think it's Gomes, misjudges the ball and tries to dive and misses it, and that ball goes the wall in. Figgins with the speed scores, and uh, that's the walk-off hit, and we're going to the World Series. You see, he's not very happy. He's probably going to go shoot himself out of the game. Um, so, yeah, we're taking on the Tigers now, and, uh, yeah, let's let's do it. <laughs> All right, so here's game one of the World Series, and this is, like, the most intense game I've ever played in uh, MLB 11, the show. And uh, we were down by three in the ninth, and I got two runs back, I think. No, three runs, actually. And right here, that would have been, been the final out, but I don't know how he drops it or misses this, or I don't know what the hell happened. Um, get the running, the game-winning run on third, and Jason wins out the bat next, and I get a clutch single up the middle right here. And uh, remind me to upload the end of this game, because this game is just absolutely amazing, the end of this. Um, there's so many highlights of this game, but I didn't really feel like doing them, because there's like two, four, six, there's like there's more than like 20 things to edit out, so I just decided to upload the end of it. And, you know, I want to show you guys the end of the game, because this is the most intense game I've ever played. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, 11 runs, it, I think the final score is 12 to 11. And, to, uh, yeah, um, I need to learn my pitching a little bit better. Justin Verlander was on the mound today, too. So, we have Strasburg next, and, uh, yeah, we're going to go to game two. All right, guys, so here's game three, and I actually skipped game two. I simulated it. I didn't notice I did, so I couldn't go back because... I started this game and I wasn't sure because I was like, well, why am I playing at an away stadium after one game at home? Then uh, I actually lost game two. I simulated it on accident. Um, so, And right here, I'm a foot away from tying this game up in the top of the ninth, but instead I don't. Screw screw this game. Not really. Jason Worth, you're, you're a beast, but not right there. But yeah, so now we're down 2-1 to one, and I kind of lost game two on accident. We lost 3-7, uh, to seven, so... All right, here's game four. All right, so everyone, here's game four, and we're going to end up losing this one, but uh, we go to extra innings, though. But before that, here's two great plays. They're almost pretty much identical by Danny Espinoza at second. Really great diving plays out in right field, basically, to uh, get, in a, get two outs. But bottom of the 11th, I think it is, I give up a ground rule double. And that ends the game because there's a guy in second, and he scores, obviously. And now we're going to be going down 3-1. to one. I'm really pissed still that I accidentally simulated that one game because for all I know, it could be just 2-2 two to two right now instead of 3-1, to one, but I don't know. But all right, we're going to go to game 5. I have to win this game. All right, guys, so we're doing game 5 of the World Series, and uh, I jump on the Tigers early here in the first. I get two runs here, and here's the first one off of an Ian Desmond double. And it's going to score Sean Figgins all the way from first. And... Then, See Brian's in this chat. Um, then we get a single up the middle by Upton that scores Desmond. I don't know why they threw the cutoff man. They would have hurried. They might have got him. Um, here in the second or third inning, they get they're gonna respond back and get two runs off of Verlander who didn't have a great series. And but he does only give up two runs in this game. <clears throat> and then here's the other run in the inning. So this will tie the game up two two. The game's going to go 2 2 the rest of the way, and I'm going to show you the last at bat. Now the 0 2 pitch. Now a curveball that's yanked high and deep down the line in right. Ball game! So a two run homer down the line in right field, and with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over.
And these fans have been anticipating this moment all season, and now finally they can say their team is world champion. in a series clinching game guys he's our top player of the game all right so that's how the world series ends and we lose the series four to one so um yeah who knows what could have happened if i would have actually played game two but um so i'm not gonna be doing any more franchise mode because it's just too hard because i sort of neglected it like you know i made like one upload a week instead of like two or three uploads a week or no like three or four a week so I'm done with MLB 11, the show for now, I'm sorry, but I'll be back next year, because I'm not going to get an Xbox, you guys, I'm going to stay with PS3, represent, <laughs> but yeah, that's the last MLB video, and I will see you guys on Modern Warfare 3 and or Battlefield 3, so thank you guys for watching the MLB videos, I appreciate all of the, um, all of the appreciation and likes and uh, I don't know, just general buzz about them. I like to you guys, you know, always comment on my videos and stuff, but uh, I, I don't want to stop, but uh, I don't, I just don't have enough motivation to keep playing and me, uploading a video when I'm, like, tired as hell and I don't want to make the video too bad and suck. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching all my MLB videos. Be sure to watch my Black Ops videos slash, you know, FPS videos. Um, you know, they're, they're just as good as MLB, video, MLB videos, so... <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys, and I will see you guys later. Have a nice day.